beat it. We beat the tech issue. Finally. Yeah. Hey, How everyone. You doing? Yes. Hey, I'm, thank I'm, you guys. Sorry about the, the long, the long and slow, um, start. Tech issue. Um, tech issue. So I'm happy to see you. I'm so and, happy to see you. Yay. And so what are we going to talk about? Whatever anybody wants yeah. to. How about where I was stuck? Um, yes. Back in January of this, this year, mm -hmm. I, I've been acting for 23, 24 years yeah. and taking classes, worked with so many different people and, and auditioned and worked. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, in January, I was done. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm like, I, I, I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. I, I just put it out to the universe and said, you know what, if it's meant to be, it'll be, but yeah. I'm comfortable enough with myself to say I'm done. And so let me dig in there a little bit. What part was pushing you to feel done? Not working. I was getting auditions, but I wasn't booking anything and mm -hmm. It was an emotional battle I was having with myself. I might tear up, sorry. Yeah, no, but I'm just, I will. Don't apologize. Um, I just felt so lost mm. and so not knowing anything, not knowing where I was going, not knowing why I wasn't working. I, I was looking for answers, which I didn't need to do. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I was really at a, at a point and I mean, the team I have working with me, I have a great management team and they love my work. They love me. And they just, they were like, I don't know why you're not working, but it was for me. I, 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 I just felt so lost. Bless you. Thank you. I felt so lost and so done. So yeah. beaten up. Cause mm -hmm. it, it can well, beat you up if you let it. Well, yeah, and it's not just the fact that you're not booking, right? I bet that the experience of acting itself um, was beating you up. Yes, it was hitting me from all sides. I mean, some of the things that I would get called in for, I was just like, this is the most ridiculous copy. Mm -hmm. And then I would do the breakdown of the character just as, as, it, as it was written, mm -hmm. just what everybody wanted me to do. Mm -hmm. And I kept saying, and this is why am I not booking? I did exactly what they wanted. Yeah. I did exactly what they wanted. Yeah, you were people pleasing. You were trying to do it right, trying mm -hmm. to be good. You were yeah. in that loop. Yeah, which which most people are, right? Um, because that's what acting school will you know teach you to do to to honor you know the, the material and to submit to it, which is not what we do. Right. Okay, and so. Uh, you're feeling stuck and done and you want to quit. Why do you decide to reset instead of quitting? I came across your reset on Insta and I said, maybe this is, will help me. Why don't give it one more shot? Cause I, I, I love to act. Mm -hmm. I love creating those characters from the words on a page. I mm -hmm. love it. Mm -hmm. I always have since I was a kid, mm -hmm. since I was seven years old, hanging up on top of the barn or going and playing in the apple orchard and pretending I was whomever or whatever and on my horses. And, you know, I just love creating. And that was like my own little silent passion I always had growing up because I was mm -hmm. told to behave and don't do this and don't do that. But when I was out in the field playing and riding my horses and, and with the dogs, I, I could be me. Yeah. And when I saw your reset online, I said to myself, this is something, I, you know, try it. Mm -hmm. What, what do I have to lose? It's 33 days. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I went for it. I just said, if this doesn't work, then you're done. Okay. So this was your last try. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. God. Um, all right. So what, what happens? You start your reset and how, what's the experience like for you? The experience, um, well, I actually found a better version of myself. Mm. I truly did. I started out 
just knowing that, you know, it wasn't easy. I'm going to be honest. No. It wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. I got to day eight and I was like, oh my God, I need to take a break. I don't, what, it's just, what's going on? What mm -hmm. are all these things building up inside of me? Mm -hmm. Day 19, I got the aha moment. Mm -hmm. I got That's it. Cool. I got it. And I think I mentioned that a few times in, in our reset group yeah. at the time. I, I, I got it. I felt so like this weight had lifted off of me. Incredible. I stopped listening to what I had learned. I stopped yeah. listening to what other teachers had taught me. Mm -hmm. I stopped listening to the behavior that I grew up with saying, yeah. do this and don't do that. Be a good person. Be polite to everybody and just do what you're told. I let it all go. Mm. And I got it. And I, I'm getting chills. I, Me I too. I have truly, really, I, I got it, Joe. I really felt my guard was down and I was listening. I felt so comfortable in my own skin. And after, after I did the reset, I booked a feature film. Woo! Yeah. Oh my God. I'm, I have chills I, and tears. I know. I'm, I got goosebumps. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm crying in tears because I'm happy. Yeah. I'm so happy with myself that it's really a time because everybody goes with everybody thinks you're going to find answers from you know like do what the casting director tells you to do, do yeah. what the director tells you to do fine and dandy take their words but do what you want to do with it well otherwise you're yeah. not going to be that unique person no. that they see oh no. who's the artist Right. Is it the teacher? Is it the school? Or is it you? Because at the end of the day, if you're an artist, what everyone is interested in, mm -hmm. if they look at your work, whatever medium you're involved in, whether you're a singer or a painter or, or an actor, people want to see life through your heart, through your soul, through your instrument, yeah. through your lens, yes, through you, through your uniqueness. And so all the teachings in the world cannot give you you they can actually take you away from you because they'll tell you what to do they'll tell you what you should do what you have to do what's good what's bad what's right what's wrong and and there is no good bad and right or wrong there's only can i be purely me mm -hmm. and express myself from that place whatever art i'm i'm into and from there it's inevitable or it happens if you're 100 percent yourself it's inevitable yeah. it's literally inevitable there's nothing to do just to show up and it reminded me of one of my very first acting classes because I, I modeled in Europe and I started booking commercials like right away. And when I went back to, to live in New York, I found this teacher, Freddie Caraman, who used to teach at Carnegie Hall. And he, he, the list of people he trained was amazing. He told me to be penetrable. Mm. And when I was doing the reset, I go, oh, oh my gosh, you're oh. speaking to me. You have to be penetrable. Mm -hmm. You have to let things affect you. Because yeah. even when you see people on stage, they're affected by what mm -hmm. the other actors are giving them. When you're well, acting, they're alive, yeah. They're alive. So in life, you're affected by the events. They hit yeah. you, you fall on your knees, and then you get back up. And so if you're not going to offer that when you're defending a character mm -hmm. and you're acting them, you're tending to be them and you're deciding what they're going to look like and sound like you're not being affected you're yeah. shoving information down our throat which we didn't ask for we just want to see you being penetrated by these circumstances That's yeah all we want. yeah mm -hmm. and when i did the movie i did it in um end of may beginning of june one of my last scenes that i did um it was so funny because there was hair on my mouth and in real life you yeah. You take it off your face. And so I, did, I was just sitting there yeah. talking to the other actor and I'm just acting. I mean, I wasn't acting, I was being real. I was just like, and he was looking at me and he tried to get it off my face. It was just a cute touching little moment mm. that we had, but I was like, this is, life is life. And if, when I bring that to the characters I get to play, mm -hmm. that's just the bonus. And I really felt since doing the reset, but I, you know, I've gone through the stages of going through purpose and now I'm in Banff and I'm just getting even that much more mm -hmm. alive and a hundred percent into what, who I am mm -hmm. and what I want to be. Mm -hmm. And 
the work that I can say, I don't want to do. I don't want to read that yeah. script. I don't have mm -hmm. to. I don't no. have to audition for something no. if I don't want to. No, Just don't. Because they want, want to see me. And, you know, you bow out gracefully. I've turned down auditions because I'm like, I really don't feel anything from this. Mm -hmm. And I don't like the writing. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're an artist. You're not at school having to submit to an external authority. Right. You're an artist. That's but I've never artist. done that before. No most people don't because right. you, we're not raised that way. We're not wired that way. Mm -hmm. And even the people who work a lot and so much and who end up resetting after decades of not having been able to be themselves, even if they do work a lot, they, they come with so much pain, right? Like, because they, they've never done that. They've never said, no, this doesn't work for me, or this is how I want to do it. They've also submitted to whatever obligation or authority has asked them to do things a certain way or because they've been expected to keep doing it the same way they did it when they got their first big break. Mm -hmm. And and then after decades of being successful like that, but in excruciating pain, they reset and go, oh, yeah. oh this is what it felt like when I started. This is why this is this, why I want to act. Because when you act from that place, yes. there's no acting. It's just being. Like you said, you just be yourself. Um, it's charging you. It's not depleting you. Mm -hmm. It's really like you can do 20 takes of something and walk home and be completely alive. Because you're not depleting yourself each time of your of your soul, of your of who you really are, right. of your truth. You're actually completely being fully expressed and that's that's not tiring and also too i found that and i used to do this and I, I up through the years that i lost it when i audition that's the work yeah that's getting a, an audition is huge it's great I booked the movie there were 6500 people that auditioned oh wow 6500 people a lot of people yeah and now I look at something like, you know what? I'm auditioning. I'm getting these, uh, doing a lot of self tapes and I'm so grateful for it mm -hmm. and I'm having fun with it. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm allowing myself to be who I want to be because yeah. nobody else, no one's going to take that from me. No. I'm not letting that happen again. I'm not. No, no. And you're, and you're right. You use the right words. No one can take it out of you. Mm -hmm. No one can take it away from you unless you give it away, right? Unless you let them because it's, it's you, it's all, this is your own authority. It belongs to you. You have all the rights to it. It's mm -hmm. only going to disappear if you actually let it go away. Yeah. Okay. So you, you have to be with it. Be with it. And I, and I had a, a, a call back on something last week, which I was ready for. And I did um, yeah, I did some exercises beforehand to allow myself to chill out and relax because, you know, you still get a little like, oh, it's so sad, I've got an audition. But it was a callback and the director gave me um, a direction mm -hmm. and, I, and, they, and the cast director goes, okay, let's go. And I said, just a moment. Let me mm -hmm. just give me a moment and I'm happy to jump in. And I took that moment because before I was like, oh, okay, I'll do what, you yeah. know, whatever, people pleasing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm-mm. Mm -hmm. No, just give me a moment. And I did it. And, you know, we're still waiting to hear. But it, the point is, I got a call back. Mm -hmm. And everyone needs, needs to, to, I think, remember, getting the, an audition alone is huge in yeah. this town. with thousands and thousands of mm -hmm. actors all over the world. Mm -hmm. And you get that audition. And then you get, if you get a call back, that's an icing on the cake. When you get the job, bingo, fantastic. But the callback is amazing. The callback means you've been seen, you've mm -hmm. showed up, that mm -hmm. you stood out because yeah. you've been yourself. Correct. And so they'll think about you for something else. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Wonderful. So I also want to share um, that actually for anyone who's listening, uh, on the 17th of October, for the first time in four or five years, I have to look at my date, um, I'm going to do a reset live that oh fun 30, yeah 33 days with me live every day so if anyone's been sitting on the reset because i know a lot of people consider this and go oh no it's too scary and you've been wanting to reset but you haven't jumped in 
I'm jump in. I'm not doing lives. <laughs> I'm really not doing lives, but I think extraordinary times need extraordinary um, solutions or, you know, um, what's the other word that I'm looking for? Extraordinary things. <laughs> I'll go very generic. And yes. so, yeah, we need togetherness right now with the yes, strike and, 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 you know, everything that's happening. And so, yeah, I can't wait to get live to be online with everyone for 33 days. So, yeah, if you haven't uh, reset yet and you want to enjoy a live version, then send us a DM, uh, type live reset in one word, and we'll send you a link so that you can get ready for it. And if who, um, whomever needs a little nudge, it, it's to me, it was the best thing I did for myself. The mm -hmm. best thing I did for myself. Mm -hmm. And this journey that it takes you on is very awakening and self fulfilling. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, F and A. I mean, I know I swear a lot. I'm trying to be very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can swear. I'm just like, I do it. Do yeah. it. It's, you're going to get what you need to get from it. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it's. Because there's no it. Right. The reason why you're going to get everything you need from it is there's no it. It's your yeah. journey that you yes. do to get back to you. It's not Correct. me spoon feeding, shoving oh. anything down your throat. I'm not no. teaching anything. I'm not even coaching. Now I think I should be called a midwife for actors, but not a coach because I don't do any coaching. Um, <laughs> so just, I'm, I'm just I'm facilitating people back into their truth. That's all I'm doing. Um, so yes, you get what you need to get from resetting yourself to your truth. Yeah. Thank you, Nancy, for sharing yeah. yourself so beautifully, so powerfully. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Love Thank you, you too. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Bless you. And yeah. <laughs> so um i'll see you next week yes all right yes thanks okay. so much thank Bye, you everybody. guys and again if you're wanting to be live with me we're starting the 17th type live reset and we'll send you a link all right Bye. ciao